What is up, everybody? This is Ryback Stun. We have returned to Marvel Heroes Test Center. We are taking a look here at the newest hero to hit Marvel Heroes, which is Elektra. Elektra seems pretty cool in the way that she works. She's a lot of uh, ninja attacks, staff and side, ninja weaponry, hand ninja. She has a new mechanic called Mark for Death. Um, this is Test Center, so remember, everything is subject to change. There are things that are obviously not finished. All kinds of different stuff is going on. To start with, though, Elektra's uh, synergies currently are physical damage and damage to bosses, which I'm hoping that physical damage gets pumped to 3%, because otherwise it's not going to be the greatest synergy to use. But there you go. Uh, remember, this could be subject to change. If it does, I'll try to throw an annotation out. Uh, the other thing is she is Marvel Knights, Shield, and Thunderbolts for team uh, insignia aff affiliations. That was not something I should have used. And let's hit the crafter. Oh, hello. Uh, sorry, my mind was wandering. She is currently adamantium alloy. That's what I thought she was going to be. So there you go. Now, uh, three trees. Psy sta Psy and Staff, Ninja Weaponry, Hand Ninja. The big mechanic that's in her kit is called Marked for Death. Marked for Death is a passive ability, uh, passive active. It gives you uh, damage rating, crit hit rating, crit damage rating, and accuracy. And its effect is it mark you mark an elite or boss enemy, enabling various bonuses to your effects up to five enemies at one time. It does not break stealth, and you gain a charge every three seconds. You restore one mark when you when a marked enemy is defeated every uh, and every three seconds. So you can stack them up pretty quickly. You have a couple different marks you can use. Um, I actually tried slotting this on the bar, but it, there we go. There it is. All right, so let's just start with the base powers. We're going to start with Psy and Staff. The first ability we have is her regular Psy Strike. It's a basic melee attack. It does physical damage. It restores stamina on hit. You regenerate when you hit a marked enemy and an attack speed of 2.6 per second. So there's your typical staff attack, Psy Strike attack. Excuse me. Next, we have Blo uh, Blossom of Death, Melee Bleed Movement, Physical Damage, Physical Damage twice per second when you hit a marked enemy, and Stamina Cost of 94. So there you go. It's the typical, you know... It's It actually works a lot like Falling Lotus Strike from Psylocke. So... <clears throat> Next, we have Shadow Strike, which is a uh, melee area movement, Physical Damage. It does a stun to 4 seconds against the marked enemy. Sex second cooldown, and it has a Stamina Cost of 141. So... There you go. It's a nice big old crash down. That's actually neat. Next, we have Deadliest of All Assassins Melee Attack Physical Damage. It has 10% uh, additional crit chance. It has 20% crit and brutal damage for this attack when you hit a marked target. It has attack speed of 2.2 per second and a stamina cost of 38.8. It's pretty neat. Does the attacks, spins the, st uh, the size around. Next, we have the first Staff Attack, which is called Sa uh, Sansetsuken Strike. That's probably not accurate, and I do apologize for butcher butchering that, but that's what we're going to call it. I'm just going to call it S Strike. Uh, physical damage, 2.6 attacks per second, and it has uh, plus 1 attack speed, plus 1% attack speed for 3 seconds when you hit a marked enemy, up to 20%. Ooh, nice, that stacks 20 times. Uh, stamina is 29.1. So, it's one of those uh, 3 section staffs, which are really neat. No current um, icon for the buff, and it didn't actually look like the attack speed was going up for it either. Um, let's hit it again and see what happens yeah is is it for this power it's just oh when you hit a marked enemy that would be why all right cool answer that question next we have not even the stars signature area melee movement not even the stars in the sky are safe thanks to you use your near nearly superhuman speed and deadly reflexes to take down targets in an area with incredible precision Physical damage for three hits. It marks each elite and boss enemy hit. You are invulnerable for the duration of this power, and it's got a 25 second cooldown. I feel like this is going to be a maximum spider-like effect. Yep, that's exactly what it is. That's pretty neat. I like that a lot. Behind you is something that only targets marked for death. It's melee movement. It instantly destroys non-boss enemies. It, uh, does physical damage to bosses and mini-bosses consuming the mark, and it has a uh, 14.1% 14 14.1 14 14 .1 stamina cost a 4 second cooldown and it triggers an 8 second cooldown on Throne Blade. We're not going to use this right now I'm going to go over to uh, one of the dummies here and check that out in a minute because I don't think I can mark these. What's the nope. So we'll look at that uh, later. Next we have Ninja Weaponry. So the first one is called Wave of Shurikens. Ranged area physical damage uh, directed Shuriken does physical damage when you hit a marked enemy. Additional physical damage. Attack speed of 1.6 per second. Save on a cost 48.5. So there you go. Oh, it's like an it's a cone. That's interesting. 
Neat, I like that. Next we have Slip Into Shadows. Passive effect. Apply a mark to any elite or boss enemy you hit while in stealth or invisible. Uh, when you activate flow like water, you enter stealth for 1.5 seconds, and its active effect is you are invisible for the duration of this power. Damage rating versus enemies not targeting you. Crit damage rating, brutal damage rating, you take 50% less damage. It has a 5 second buff duration, which is unaffected by power duration, and a 25 second cooldown. So, boom. Nice. You can use all the little powers here. Um, all kinds of different neat things. Excellent. Next we have Throne Blade. It can only target... Uh, marked enemies, it instantly destroys non-boss enemies, so this is the ranged version of the other attack, which was called, uh, Behind You. And it does physical damage against bosses and mini-bosses consuming the mark. A uh, 72.7 stamina cost, 8 second cooldown, triggers a 4 second cooldown on Behind You, so you cannot stack these together. We'll show that later. Uh, next we have Blow Dart, physical damage, Poison Cloud, it deals, uh, physical damage twice per second when you hit a marked enemy. It triggers a 3 second cooldown when you do that. Um... It does a vulnerability, it has an 8 second duration, area duration, and it has a attack speed of 1.5 per second with a stamina cost of 58.2. So there's your blow dart, which is kind of interesting. It's not an area effect, which might not be the greatest. Next we have Cut a Swath. This does physical damage twice per second, and additional 50% damage against marked enemies, and an uh, ongoing stamina cost of 75.2 per second. So you just spin around, whip, 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 whip. So hopefully this will be a better whirlwind power than most powers. Like I said, like I said before, blade is the best. Um, clear the air, spin in a bladed chain around you. This does physical damage for three hits. It slows uh, for forty percent for eight seconds when you hit a marked enemy. It weakens marked enemies, and uh, it has a stamina cost of a hundred, hundred twenty one point two with an eight second cooldown. So that's pretty neat. Neat attack there. Then we have from the shadows, which is our stealth movement. Here, when you have uh, Slip Into Shadows, the, it has physical damage. It applies a mark to all nearby elite or boss enemies if you target a marked enemy, and it has a knockdown duration of 1.2, a stamina cost of 141, and a cooldown of 4 seconds. So there you go, and that'll apply a mark, so on and so forth. Next, we have the Hand Ninja Tree. Flow Like Water, this is your dash, physical damage. Ooh, it goes through walls. It's basically a teleport. That's nice. Um, next we have Silent Scream. It does mental damage. This was the mental damage attack that uh, Men Michael Mayhem was talking about. This has got a mental damage, stun, two second stun duration, which is irresistible against marked enemies. It has uh, 99 stamina cost, 12 second cooldown. So there you go. Next you have Silent Approach. This is a one point power. You put one point in it and it's done. Travel speed of 550. And this is how you run. So, there you go. No stamina uh, no stamina cost, which is great. Next, we have Hyper Awareness. Passively, you see enemies on the minimap. It gives you Deflect, Total Deflect, Dodge, Total Dodge, Regenerate Health on Hit, Regenerate on Defeat, and this is your CC as well as your CC Breaker, as well as a res res restoration of your stamina with a 15 second cooldown. Boom. Next, we have At My Bidding. Call forth a Cast Ninja to take down any targets that are marked for death. This does physical damage to all marked enemies. It has a stamina cost of 72.7 and a cooldown of 8 seconds. So, since we're on the subject of marks, let's go ahead and head down to this guy over here. Oh, come on. <clears throat> so here's the raid dummy. That is what the mark looks like. If I hit Q, there's your cast ninja, boom. But then you also have these little specializations. You've got elite assassins, which uh, consume the mark. You have Warrior Cast, which summons a specific warrior, and then you have Mystic ca uh, of the Cast, which summons a Mystic character. Let's check out Elite Assassins and see what happens. Did that not do what it was supposed to do? Seems... Oh, it, it consumes the mark to deal extra damage. So there's that. So here's mar another mark. And there's your sword guy that comes out and does a summon duration of 10 seconds. And then you could end up doing this one where you summon a mystic guy. These are the sorcerers that we always hate because they're evil and stupid. So, enemy is still marked for death. Let's go ahead and show you what behind you looks like. You pop up behind an enemy and stab them in the back with the amount of size that you have. And then with the thrown blade, you end up... Oh, I gotta mark him, sorry. Just, you throw a blade at him, and it's got that 8-second cooldown. 
So the mark itself seems to last for... Actually, it's interesting. Does it last for 8 seconds? I think it might be an 8 second cooldown. Oh no, that consumes the mark. Never mind. So it might just mark it. The mark might last until they die. And then if you just do all your little extra stuff to deal the extra damage. But these are all the different things that you can end up doing. Yeah, it might just go until it it's consumed. So that's pretty neat. We'll look at the ultimate here in one moment. So far, Electra seems pretty cool, and the Mark mechanic seems better than what I thought it was going to, since you could apply it to more than one character using the, uh, the different powers that you have. Dance of Death. Uh, physical damage twice per second. You are invulnerable. 8 second duration, 10 minute cooldown. Oh, she just spins and smashes everybody with uh, a different type of chained blade, which is awesome. It's two of them. That was really neat. Obviously, you didn't hear any sound, but that's, you know, that ends up being the case with this character. So, that's Electra. Um, seems pretty great. Seems like a character that I could end up seeing myself using a lot. Uh, we'll have to take a look at some of our stuff later. The uniques are not currently on the store, as I checked earlier, so you'll have to check out the unique thread on the Test Center forums to check out what those are. But that's going to be it for me, folks. Thank you very much for uh, watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did showcasing it to you. Remember to like and comment on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Tumblr at Done. We do do Twitch streams Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday at 12 p.m. PDT and Tuesday at 3 p.m. PDT. So come check us out there. More videos as they come along. Emma Frost is next. And with that, this is Done signing out.